Hello everybody, my name is Christophe Gazzardo. I have one question for you. What happens when water becomes land? To be exact, what happens when our sea and land ratio, which is 7 to 3, is inverted? Now, the answer is not as easy as it might seem. We also need to consider how is it inverted. Is it as easy as reducing the amount of water so that the ratio works? Or we invert the whole topography of Earth upside down, meaning the highest point of Earth, Mount Everest, becomes the lowest and vice versa for the deepest point of Earth. Now we also need to consider since when this change occurs. Was Earth always like that since the day the Earth was born? Or it just changed in a snap on one particular day? Now there are a lot of things to consider when we are talking about a hypothetical situation. We need to determine the numerous X factors that might change the outcome. Now for simplicity's sake, let's imagine our Earth is inverted topographically. That means when you see on a map the green parts and the blue parts. When you see the blue parts, imagine it as land and the green parts as water. In other words, the area that is covered by water now becomes land and vice versa for land becomes water. And let's imagine it, it has been that way since the first day of Earth. We will not discuss everything that will happen in this world, but we only point out some interesting points, some interesting facts that is different from our current situation in this world. Now the first one is the flora and the fauna. Now, the flora and fauna is will, will be much more interesting, or rather less interesting compared to our current world. Because the flora and fauna will be much more intertwined with each other because there are less bodies of water preventing them from interacting with one another. There will be a huge continent that is connected to the whole world. Now that said, water itself is important when it comes to evolution of living beings. Now with less water and much more land, the different kinds of species will be greatly reduced because there will be less uh, evolution and there will be, this is the interesting part, there will be a particularly strong characteristic of surviving in the wild. And the species that have this characteristic will dominate the earth and thrive, while a strong deviation from those characteristics will go extinct. Now the second point being migration. Now migration is interesting because since the dawn of human, we migrate everywhere, we hunt and gather and we never actually settle down and in a permanent residence until like uh, several thousand years ago. Now, since there is a huge continent across the world, the migration of people and anim animal will be far and wide and human itself might not settle down and create a permanent residence because hunting and gathering will be in abundance, will be our main primary source of living for a long time. Now we might not be as far ahead as we are right now because we chose not to settle earlier. And even if we did settle down, there won't be much different between each communities that have settled down because once again, everything is intertwined tightly with each other. Now, the last point is the geography. Now, because of the inversion of water and land, it made it so there wouldn't, there wouldn't be a huge sea or rather like a sea at all, according to our current definition of sea, right? Instead, there would be lakes across the, la across the world, where there should be land in our world. Now, the biggest lake would be the Eurasia Lake, formerly, formerly known as the continent of Asia and Europe, and then followed by the Antarctica Lake, and about the tallest point of Earth now would be a uh, mountain Mariana or Mariana Mount, formerly known as Mariana Trench, the deepest point of Earth. And you guessed that already, the deepest point of Earth right now would be. Mount Everest becomes Everest Trench, maybe, I don't know. 
So uh, I think those are some few interesting facts and points if the world is inverted between the land and the sea. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.